Okay, so right now the uh, the problem is our clearance is at six thousandths, and we need it to be three thousandths. So basically, this lid is three thousandths larger than we need it to be. 0 0.003. Okay, so go ahead and um, click on model see that tab where it says model all right let's expand out those all those plus signs just click on those plus signs so we can see all your sketches and stuff good all right so just hover over sketch one is that where you made uh yeah it looks like that's where you made it right so go ahead and edit sketch one, right click edit. All right. So let's look at this here. So what do we need to do to that inside edge? That inside loop, right? That whole loop needs to basically come in come in right so we need to make sure that it shrinks a total of three thousands all the way around so because there's two sides i'm gonna just get my calculator out and i'm gonna say okay 0 0.003 divided by two is 0 0.0015 right so i would say offset that whole inside perimeter yep click once and then move the mouse inside yeah good and type in point zero zero one five so yeah enter and kind of zoom into that area as close as you can all right so now you can um Hit escape to get out of that tool. And now select your old line. You zoom in even more so you know. Yeah, your old line. Select it and delete it. All right. Zoom out all the way so we can see, you know, we still have that inside perimeter. So did we get rid of, we got rid of the right, the old one and we created that new one, right? So finish sketch and let's see if your extrusion, it, it didn't like, just accept it. Go in and delete that extrusion. Delete. Okay, so go ahead and, and um, Where's that extrusion? You have an extrusion where you cut out that inside, that inside spot right there. We want to delete. Yeah, is that it? Delete that one. Go ahead and uh, do another extrusion. Extrude cut our new profile. So extrude, remove, and I think, what did you do, about 0.25 probably? Is this your, no, no, it's probably point, I'm trying to think, was it point 0.7? Do you remember? For the lid? Um, this is your base, correct? Oh, this is the lid. Oh, yeah, so it's 0.25 then. I believe so. You can go back and change it later, but say okay. All right. So we made we definitely made it tighter, right? By that offset variable. And 
there's a couple ways you can check to see if your updates are correct now. <clears throat> the one, you can just use the measurement tool. So go to tools, measure distance. Right there, measure. Uh, I think you clicked out of it. Go back to tools, measure. See that little ruler? Yep. And now click surface to surface. So for example, um, not that surface, the edge. Uh, the flat facing edge on the left side. Move left. Talk about this one? Yes. Okay, now, so select that. And now use the view cube and click the opposite corner and select that opposite surface. So it's 3.22. Did that number change? And it, you know, so at this point, um, there's another way we can check. Go ahead and open up your drawing here with your dimensions. Yeah. Okay. Zoom in on those dimensions. Which one? On the part that we changed. Oh, dang. Look at this one. No, we're... Go right. Go to the right. So oh, this—that's the um, that's the base. So which which part did we change? The lid. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so to get rid of the dimensions right here. Yeah. So go ahead and add in those dimensions. So you yeah, and you're just the same thing we measured before. Mm -hmm. And another thing you can do, hit escape. Right click on the dimension. Yep. Precision. You can view it into the thousands. Yep. All right. So 3.22, right? Now what is what is the outside faces of your lid or your the base of your uh, lip? So it's, So what's the difference? So you have 3.475, right? Yeah. And then you have three point, go back. So what is the difference? So you have 3.222 minus, what is that other number? Three point four seven five. Yeah. So we got a problem, right? Yeah. So really, you know, you told me that you were six thousandths off, but really, yeah. so you really that that was incorrect. Now you're negative point two five three off. Well, we were we supposed to also extrude this part right here? We're like, oh, do we not get that? No, we didn't. Yeah, go include all that in the extrusion. Yep. Oh gosh. Sorry, I thought I thought we uh, included all that profile that we selected. Yeah, make zoom in all the way to make sure we even added that extra part. Did you add that too? Can't tell what I was, I'm trying. Uh, yeah, I think I think you still got to select it. Yep, there we go. Cool. All right, let's. That should have updated in your drawing now. Let's go back to your drawing. It looked like it updated. Yeah. See that? All right, now now go back to the other, the other one, your base. Oh no, it didn't update. It did not update. Oh yeah, it did. Sorry, sorry, it did. My bad. So go ahead and delete that dimension and re-dimension that new pocket width.
escape and just try to get from yeah it looks like you got it there yep and you can right click and change the precision to thousands because that's what we're viewing it as okay so now we got 3.481 minus what Minus 3.475. Yeah. What's that? Mm, I don't have a calculator on that. Now that's six thousandths. That is six thousandths. So we, I think we still have to uh, offset that inside perimeter inside again at that same measurement so we can get that number to three thousands but bottom line is this is the process in which you you use to modify the um the interference fit right for the compression fit so you got to play with those offsets and play with your with your sizes so that it you know you get the, the fit that you are looking for does that make sense yeah yeah cool all right i'm gonna go ahead and end recording